I've been called bullheaded before. Maybe that's why I'm making this video. When the moon is in the devil's house and Jupiter aligns with a mark. It's pretty common for people to dismiss horoscopes and astrology as nonsense. But I thought it might be interesting to put it to the test. So I went to this website and it provided this uh, list of what 2007 is likely to bring to people that are being born under different signs. And it consisted of a large number of statements. So I took those statements into Notepad and associated each one with a space with its particular sign and just broke it up into a sentence without reading it or paying any attention to it. Very necessary point for my experiment. And then I brought it into Excel and I assigned a random number to it. And then I hid the sign that was associated with each statement. I scored each statement from one to five based on how useful that advice or how relevant that statement has been for my life this year. Only after scoring all 173 statements did I unveil the signs associated with each. I then calculate the mean score for each sign with the expectation that if these astrological statements had power, my personal zodiac sign would rate high and all others would be relatively low. Here are a few of the statements. You do well organizing group activities, be it a party, a meeting or social event. Well, that's not really me at all. And so I scored it a one, and no surprise, it's uh, not my sign. The risks you take are intellectually evaluated first before you put them into action. Well, that sounds like me, to a T, to a big T. You have the power and inspiration to bring mystical sensitivity to what's around you. Uh, that's absolutely not me. You attract a variety of people with your great charm, and you have a natural ability to gain admiration. Once again, that's not a good description of me. Take care of your personal needs and maintain your sense of well-being. Well, that's actually pretty good advice for me because I tend to work too hard, and people have actually given me that advice this year. Embrace that intimate love relationship you have. If only that could be true. I'll rate that a one, and it's not my sign. Being the ultimate caregiver to those you love, you thrive in your relationships this year. Well, once again, that's not quite the best advice for me. All right, so here are my results. I associate with every one of the 12 zodiac signs there are questions for each sign that I ranked high and others that I ranked low, and my mean score for any sign is not far from the overall average. Notice that I rank highest for Libra, and that there are seven signs for which I scored above average and five below. The score for my sign, slightly above average, is well within the bounds of what could be expected by sheer chance. Even though n equals 1, and therefore my test, is not scientific, it is revealing. The statements and predictions that astrologers and horoscope writers make can fit just about anybody, regardless of when they happen to be born. Despite the fact that I have attributes that are associated with my sign, that if I were more gullible would surely convince me that this had validity. I also have strong attributes that astrologers say typify others. There is no exclusiveness here among those born under different culturally conjoined clusters of stars, and there is no rational mechanism by which stars can control who you are or what will happen to you tomorrow. Astrology is bunk. <laughs>